How would you want to be a cop? <laughs> Why not? That sounded great. Uh, Wouldn't Marcellus or not? I don't know. Good evening. Hi. Compliments of the house. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Here's to you, kid. And you. Now, that's why I'm a cop. You get paid money when you're a cop. Mm. My cop chops are better than my hard chops. Actually, I prefer the classics. Hmm. Tchaikovsky. Stravinsky. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. However, Tchaikovsky was purely classical. Stravinsky, on the other hand, is like listening to Charlie Parker. He incorporates the classical with improvisation, a melody and a variation on a melody. You follow? Yeah, I just can't believe you're a cop. <laughs> Why? You're so sensitive. Oh. I thought all cops were jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them, honey, just the good ones. Oh. I'm Nick Burzak. I'm Frank's partner. Hi, Nick. How you doing? Pretty good. Frank been telling you about his police exploits? Uh, actually, we're talking about classical music and jazz. Well, let me tell you something about Frank. Frank Hazeltine is the best cop I've ever seen. I've seen some good ones. You know, I once saw Frank go into a bar full of dykes and kick the shit out of all of them. Then he burned the place to the ground just to teach him a lesson. <laughs> He's just kidding. Don't be oh. shy, man. Did you tell her about the nine-year-old kid you blew away last week? It's all a mistake, actually. I mean, the kid had a water pistol, and it looked real. Now, most of us would have waited, not Frank. He blasted the kid right between the eyes. He had to bury the little fucker in a rubber bag. Oh. If you'll excuse me, I really have to be going. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, hey. Don't go. It gets better. You're sick. <laughs> What's the matter with her anyway? Fuck you, ass good. You didn't want to go to bed with that airhead anyhow. I mean, she'd probably take you back to her place, and you'd have the best sex of your entire life. It's a big deal. Did Teresa turn you down against putts? No way. I had to hold her off with a cattle prod. When are you going to give up on that woman? I cannot help it if I'm in love with her, all right? Look, like the hell with women, all right? <laughs> Who needs them? It's just you and me, Frank. I'm not going. Come on, man, you'll love it. How long have you been staking out the costume? And what have you got to show for it? Total zip. The man is a sleaze. I intend to prove it. You are a very sick man. You know that? Yeah. Don and salt put good name at Elmira, pal. Just because you can't get alfalfa sprout with chocolates, you know what I mean? You really don't care anything about your stomach, do you? Yeah, it's my stomach. It's whatever I want now. True. And yeah, you got that right.
for me. Mr. Costa, Mr. Pogue's here. I'll see him in the study. Sir. I was just getting warmed up. That's it for tonight, honey. I've got business. And what am I supposed to do? I don't know. And then, uh, read a book or something. You do read, don't you? So your Pogue, become highly recommended. This is the gentleman we discussed. Right. The, uh, talkative guy? You, uh, want me to do it, you know, slow? No, no. There's no need for that. He's an old friend. One thing. You know you're being watched. Yes. Burzak, a cop, actually is a fanatic. Forget it. I'm not worried. Press the mail. It's a week late. Sorry. Really? Can I come in? I was just about to go out. Just for a minute, I want to talk. Fine. Fine. Just for a minute. Yeah. Change this place around. Where's my walleye? What? My walleye. I threw it back. You dumped my walleye. That was the largest walleye caught in Bay Lake, Minnesota. That was a record. Then Did why you didn't you take it to your place? Because I'm not settled in yet. Oh, Jesus, Nick, it's only been two years. Hey, well, I'm slow to adjust to psychological upheaval. Besides, I didn't come here to argue then with you. Then what did you come here for? You want to go to dinner? No. I don't think so. No. Why not? You got something going on? You got a guy coming over, don't you? Yeah. What, he's gonna come over and he's gonna take you to a movie, buy you a real big dinner, and then you're gonna put on the sexy underwear that I bought for you that you'd never That's wear it. for me. Get out of here now. Hey, I cleared my whole calendar for you this evening. Oh, really? Are yeah. we watching the Costas house any longer? I don't do that anymore. Please leave. Hey, I got better things to do with my time, all right? Fine. Yeah. Go. Uh-huh. Goodbye, Nick. Saturday day. I had a guy over to visit her this week. A guy in a red carpet. Well, all right, darling. That's good. Keep up the good work, OK? to see Teresa Burzak? Uh, yeah, I am. You're not her husband, are you? <laughs> no. I'm her physician. You're not one of her contacts, are you? Uh, I'm afraid I don't understand what... Oh, uh, don't worry, man. I think we caught it in the early stages. She's probably gonna tell you about it right now, anyhow. See, it's very important 
getting in touch with all her friends in her uh, intimate circle. Have a good day, man. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. Like you shouldn't be left all alone on a sweet night like this. But hey, that's okay. Cause old Lionel's here to make everything nice. How about a bite on my foot long? Hey, beat it, asshole. I already got a boyfriend. And a very lucky man he is too, mama. And I'm gone. And you, you want to go try your luck? Thank you. 
Back it up, pig! <laughs> Ladies, please! This is a house of God, preacher. Tell this man the ingredients of mortal sin, would you? Serious matter, sufficient reflection, and... Oh, I lose... I lose the gun. <laughs> or I'm gonna kill this son of a bitch. You hear me? I'll do it! Go ahead. God damn it, man, I'm not kidding! Neither am I. You kill him, I'll kill you. Hey, wait a minute. I got it. I'll kill him. I'll kill the son of a bitch. Yeah. I'll kill him. That's it, I'll kill him, you kill me. Don't. I'll do it. I will! Hey, man, come on. Let's kill some more people. There's lots of people out there to kill, man. And it'll just be you and me. Come on, man. Shut up, man! Shut the fuck up! Come on, man! We'll all be dead! You crazy bastard! Let's do it! Let's die! Right now! Yeah! You're crazy, what? man! Do it! The DA wants us to extradite Boudreaux. The hitman? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I want these two to do it. He got picked up when he wasted the pusher down south. He wants to make a deal. Says he'll trade his employer, who he claims is the source of all the China white coming into the city, not to mention the new influx of black tar. Okay, so three guesses. Who is it? Uh, Al Carolini, Enrique Escobar, Ty Charlie? Harry DaCosta. Ah. Oh, come on, Nick. Come on, get off of that. Hey, I know it was DaCosta. Harry DaCosta is the chairman of the United Fund and one of the best friends of the mayor, Burzak. So, Not to mention a major contributor to the Boy Scouts and the Philharmonic. Hey, that was his shit last night. So was that airport case last month, I guarantee it. Be that as it may, you two leave for Del Mar tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Get some rest. Why them, though, Paul? I need a I can't go to Del Mar. I want undercover I officers, and these are two of the best. I want to make sure that Charlie Boudreaux stays alive to testify. My mother lives in Del Mar. You think somebody's gonna take a pop at him, Captain? Yeah, could happen. Just make sure it doesn't. I haven't called my mom in a month. I'm a dead man. Hey, I expect more sympathy out of you, Frank. Hey, Speed. I don't want to go unless you go. Honey, I'm home. Mother. I mean, there's something very wrong there. 
Well, it's not asking much. I'm asking you to call me and tell me that you're fine, that you're well, that I love you, and that I miss you, and that's all. That's not a lot. You can reverse the charges. I'll pay for the collect call. I'm not a well person, Nicholas. Nick, it's Frank. I can't go to Del Mar, man. I just found out they want us to fly. I'm terrified of flying. You know flying scares the <laughs> hell out of me. You know I'm scared stiff of flying. You gotta confront your fears, Frank. Quite calm. You have no fear of flying. I have no fear of flying. You enjoy the sensation of flight and understand that you are safe. I enjoy the sensation of flight and understand I am safe. You're gonna go down in flames! You are by far an asshole. Speaking of being psychologically crippled by fear, have you called your mother to tell her we're coming down? Hmm? Uh, not yet. <laughs> oh, shit. You ah. are quite calm. I am quite calm. Got something for me? Mr. Boudreau's mouthpiece is dragging his feet. I won't be able to let you have him till tomorrow. Hey man, we gotta be back tonight. Well, you can go anytime you want, but Mr. Boudreau will be here till tomorrow. Oh, that's great. What the hell are we gonna do in Del Mar till tomorrow? I'm not seeing my mother. Did you call my mom? <laughs> You're in deep shit, pal. <laughs> I haven't called her in a month, man. So you come to town and I gotta hear from your partner? Hey. Hey! What? How do you know I'm not going out? Are you going out? I never go out, you know better. Come in here. I haven't seen you in so long, I forgot what you look like. I look like this, man. You lost weight, baby. Uh, yes, you're thinner. Want a cup of coffee? I just made a fresh pot. Yeah. Oh, good. So how long are you staying this time, eh? I gotta leave in the morning. What? I gotta be back in the morning. Oh, no. Should have known. At least I get to see that sweet face. Ooh, I'm gonna give you a niner. Mm. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Frank sends his love. Oh, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. I bet he saves your life. Not that often. That's a banana cake. Yeah, I made it fresh today. Huh. <laughs> How's Teresa? Better off without me. Well, it's your own fault, babe. <laughs> you should have married to Costa. You spend more time at his house than you do in your own. I mean, it's the truth. I don't blame her. Oh, thanks, Mom. You should have gone to law school like your brother. Hey, fuck lawyers. Nicholas Burzak. I like being a cop, all right? So did your father. Ah, oh, shit. It happens, all right? I just don't want it to happen to you. No sweat, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Jokes now, right? Yeah. Look, I don't need this shit. No, 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 Nicholas, right. no, 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 come cool. on, no, 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 okay, I'll okay. just take no, off. No, 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 we, we won't fight, I promise. What do you think we've just been doing? Uh, we won't fight anymore, I promise. Okay? Stay for dinner. I'm making your favorite. Sloppy Joes? And fries? Really? Yeah, really. You're shitting me, right? Hey, I don't shit you. Come on, we'll go peel the potatoes. <laughs> God, Mom, I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs>
Come on, Boudreaux. Hi. Hi. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Bye. See ya. You take care of yourself. Bye. I'm gonna ask you where the fuck you've been. Hello, Charles. <laughs> Hazel. And Burzak. Christ almighty, I'll never make it back alive. How the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Mate. Yeah. Look, just give me a tip, all right? What do you say to the bitch when you first see it, all right? Your inward self is balanced. My inward self is balanced. I have no fear of flying. I have no fear of flying. Charlie, who's spy planning all the Chinese shit in the black tar in LA? Fuck you. Come on, man. Al Carolini, right? Johnny Rafino? You guys are narcotics cops. Yeah. I'm quite calm. <laughs> I am a dead man. It's Harry DaCosta, isn't it? Okay, Frank? No, I'm not. Shit!
only a matter of time. Got that son of a bitch. I saved your life, young fella. You might have saved my life, but you ruined my career, buddy. Shit! Call an ambulance! Haul ass! Charlie, you're gonna be okay. Bullshit, God. Yeah. Just tell me it was Harry DaCosta, okay? No. I killed a lot of guys with a shotgun. I was. wonder what it felt like. It sucks. Just tell me it was Harry, man. Would you, please? Shit. Charlie. Shit. God damn it! Old McDonald had a shotgun. Shut up. I don't want to hear you bull for a sec. Somebody tipped off Boudreaux's extradition, Paul. Yes, and I think you were trying to cover up for these two idiots. Pending investigation of this matter, I want these men on desks. Now get out of my sight, all of you. Let's go. I don't believe him. I was just talking to myself. Like that? Yeah, that was great. Yeah? But I'll see you at the Natural Food Seminar. OK, I'll be looking for you. Great. Bye. Bye. It's good to see you. Nice seeing you. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 Ah. Has it always been like this for you? Since I was 10. I can't figure it out, man. I don't think about it. What the fuck is that shit? Yogurt, yeast, paste, lecithin, all the things you ought to be eating. Want some? No way, I'm on a low mucus diet, you know that. Yeah. I've been thinking, Frank. It's DaCosta again, isn't it? No, it's not about DaCosta again, Frank. I think we ought to go after the guys that hit Boudreau. Figure they're local. Now, how do you figure that? Because they're working for DaCosta. There's that name again. Come on, Frank, they made us look real bad. The entire squad thinks we're screw-ups. So now you want to screw up real big and remove all doubt, right? No, I don't want to do that. I'm just an agile guy, Frank. I can get my foot in my mouth. I can even work with my nose to the grindstone, but my ass doesn't fit under a desk, neither does yours. No, no, no! Who is it? What's happening, man? Some brothers downtown told me you got VCRs for sale. Get out of here, man. You got the wrong house. I'm a lawyer. I got cash, motherfucker. I need 20 of them. <laughs> Hey, I was just on the toilet thinking about y'all, man. Ain't life a bitch? Yeah. Hiya, Casey. All is yours, brother? Hello, uh, Yeah, brother. Well, see, I'm about to get married. You know how everybody gives you the same present? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. What, you get this $8,000 Rolex for uh, Christmas, right? Yeah, I got that from my lady, man. So how come it's engraved with love to Dr. Ira Kettlebaum? Check it out. That's what the bitch calls me, man. Oh, it's like a pet name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stick it to me, Dr. Kettlebone. Uh, uh, right? Uh, yeah. Is he a real squealer and shit? Yeah, she's a freak, man. Squealer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, you brothers want something, right? So why don't you take yourselves a VCR apiece? You know better than that, Casey. I want a line on the dudes that popped Charles Boudreau. Hey, look, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. That was downstate. And we figure the guns were local. Yeah, unless you want to produce receipts and all this shit, including the Rolex. You dig what I'm saying? OK, man, I'll look around and see what I can do, all right? All right, you do that. Take it easy, Casey. Take it easy, big fella. Hey, Frank, we got to book this shit in. Sorry. Okay. Nick, yo. You know what they're calling you on the streets now? What's that? Berserk. They should meet my mother, right, Frank? Yeah, she's probably an ugly bitch. You think Casey will come up with anything? He better or I'll step on his kettle bomb. Huh. Oh, why did I eat those extra jalapenos? Because you got an unconscious hostility towards your colon, that's why. Oh, shit. What? 
10 after 8. I'm supposed to be having dinner with Teresa tonight. Well, what are you going to give up on that lady? She deserves better. I know, but I can't help it. I'm in love with her. All right? All right, OK. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later. Cop, be cool. Sit down. <clears throat> Carlo. Shit. <sighs> you don't breathe, all right? I'm sorry, man. It's Nick Burzak. We went to high school, man. We stole a Trans Am. Oh, yeah, Nick. How you doing? Good, man. How you doing? You look good. You got some blood on you, man. You OK? It's your blood, Carlo. Oh, wow. I must be hurting or something, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm on medication, Nick. Yeah. OK, listen, Carlo. You just go home and dry out, all right, man? OK. Get man. some ice on that lip. All right, man. All right, man. You're new around here. What's your name? Malcolm. Malcolm. Yeah, what are you, welcome wagon? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen you oozing around the street. What is your scam? Me? Yeah. I sell Amway products. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I catch you dealing any soap flakes in this neighborhood, I will cripple you. I ain't afraid of no jive ass cop, man. I know my rights. Oh. Ah! 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 Malcolm, ah! I am not your normal jive ass ah! cop, all right? Ah! And around here, you got no rights. Oh, you must be berserk. You don't know the half of it, baby. Ah! Hey, Malcolm, oh. have a nice day. Mommy! Hi. Ready for dinner? What happened? Dinner at 8, don't you remember? No, Nick, I never said I'd go to dinner with you. What happened? Wh why, you got somebody here? Well, I don't know. What happened? I just beat the shit out of a guy I went to school with in high school. I caught him in the middle of a buy and I fucked him up for a minute. I can't do it again. I can't. God. God. Why do you have to make this so difficult? Don't do this to me. I don't want to do this to you. Can't you understand that I just need to take care of myself now? Are you going to be OK? I get the feeling I'm paying for a lucky accident. Hey, wouldn't have happened if I wasn't there. Let's just say I motivated it, hmm? Oh, by the way, that cop who always watches your house, what's his name? Burzak. Right. He was one of Boudreaux's escorts out of Del Mar. Way I heard he's got a real thing for you. Not for a small fee, I could... I don't bother killing cops, Pogue. It's bad for my reputation. However, I do have a transaction this weekend. Be nice if he wasn't around. Maybe a uh, small diversion? A family crisis, perhaps? I'm running a special. Burzak. You know, I cannot figure out why it is every time I talk to that woman, I say the wrong thing. Why you is You always shoot your mouth out before your brain's loaded. That's why. Bingo. 
Dr. Kettlebaum approaches. Okay, this is it. I got a line on a guy. His name is Bobby Sweet. Seems he likes to talk a lot when he gets high. Claims to know the guy that did Charlie B. And where do we find this Bobby Sweet? He works at some mud palace, Kazari's. Am I clear? Am I off the hook now? Depends on Bobby Sweet. You can go now, Dr. Kettlebaum. We're so glad you made it. Yeah. We're so glad you made it. Give me some love and give me some love. You can make animals sick with that shit. You should cool out. Hey, but how about that? Hey, listen, do you have any more room on that bicycle? Hey, 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 hey. I've been working on this a long time, man. You know, I gotta be honest with you, Nick. I, I got an aversion to mud. Well, it's probably because it resembles that health food crap you've been scarfing. Didn't you ever make mud pies when you were a kid? Of course, once the yuppies discover this place is going to be swamped. Wouldn't you like to get in there with them? You got no respect for the human body. Sure I do. Would you gentlemen like to be seated? We're looking for a man by the name of Bobby Sweet, you know? Funny name. I'd remember that one if I ever heard it. Maybe first the bartender knows it. Speed. How are they hanging? Fine, Bill. Thanks. We're looking for a guy by the name of Bobby Street, you know? Take a hike. What? Hey, man, this place is clean. We don't need cops like you coming in here and fucking it up. It's just a simple request, pal. Do you know him? You heard Bruce. He asked you nice. Out. Listen, you fucking eunuch. Oh! Oh, 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 oh shit! Hey, buddy, no free looks, huh? <laughs> Slime face. Riding around with you all night kind of stunk up our car, pal. We need a little fresh air, someplace quiet. Yeah, someplace you can scream. Oh, that's funny. Some people told us you like to talk when you get high. Are we high enough yet, Bobby? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he'll never make a good lawyer, Nick. He can't lie for shit. Come on, move it. You can go back down. All you got to do is tell us who killed Charles Bedreau. All that shit you've been mainlining fucked up your leg muscles, didn't it? Come on, move it. Hey. Oh, man, Bobby. You can see everything from up here, man. You can even see the ground from up here. Wait. 
Wait. Come on, come on, Bobby, come on. I want Don't you to check push. this out. Come here, man. Okay, okay, okay! What do you think of that shit, huh? Oh, my huh? God. Jesus Christ, oh, God. I wouldn't have figured you to be the religious type. <laughs> it must be because we're so close to God up here. Oh, yeah. God, man, I just talk, man. I just shoot my mouth. Jesus Christ, I don't even know anything. I, I don't know shit, man, really. Uh, maybe these will help you, Bobby. Oh, God. I'm not gonna put those on, man. You can't. You can't make me. <laughs> sure we can. Don't worry, Bobby. Oh God, please, tail please, please, oh God. You see, it increases please, blood flow to the brain, please. Bobby. How's your memory? Oh God, I'm gonna throw up. Well, technically, you'll be throwing down, Bobby. Yeah. Oh God, please, oh God. God's got an alibi. Try somebody else, Chief. Hey, Nick, you think maybe the boots are a little too tight? Yeah. Pogue, Terry Pogue. <laughs> they work. They worked. <laughs> I told you. That's right, Frank. I, I bet Bobby can even remember Mr. Poe's address. Ain't yeah. that right, Bobby? Oh, no. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, yeah. Bunker, Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill, condominium apartment, uh, uh, 26. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> OK, Bob, we'll check it out. No, no, wait, 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 wait. God, aren't you going to let me go? Well, look at it this way, Bob. By the time we come back, your complexion will be all cleared up. Yeah, and you have a lot more hair. Hang in there, Bob. Wait! No, wait! Wait! No, please! Don't leave me out there! Come on, guys! Mars, but I like it. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Bobby. Oh, Terry, <laughs> thank God. Oh, man, I didn't tell him anything, Terry. I didn't tell him shit, man. That's why they left me here. You should have seen that laugh right in their faces, man. I appreciate that, Bobby. Hey, uh, you, you think that you could, uh, uh, you know, help me down? Sure, Bobby. Sure. Oh, great, man. Thanks. Oh, my God! Oops. So DaCosta represents your father, and you scarf all of this junk food to fulfill an oral longing for your mother's breasts, which incidentally is 70% fat. That's great, Frank. First you ruined food for me, now you gotta ruin tits. Oh, shit. What? for detectives to make up their own assignments, act on their own authority? They're acting on my authority, Paul. Oh, on your authority. How nice. I put them on desks. I had to bust all three of you down to traffic. Look at it this way, Captain. We got the guy who whacked Boudreaux in the hospital under 24-hour guard. Now, he can finger DaCosta for us. DaCosta again? I'm sick and tired of hearing about DaCosta. We haven't got a shred of evidence to prove he even kicks his dog. Harry DaCosta is a decent, upstanding citizen. God damn it. Now, the doctor says we can talk to Pould tomorrow, Paul. Then we'll have her evidence. Oh, all 
right, that's wonderful. Then I want you to assign two detectives to go to the hospital and take Pogue's statement, but not these two. Erzak, Hazeltine, this is the last break you get from me. You stay away from the hospital and off of this case. Is that clear? Out. <laughs> I don't blame him. Man. That's what he's talking about. What? No, I was just talking to myself. Thanks for covering for us, Larry. I don't know why I keep saving you guys' asses. Because in your heart, you know we're right. Telephone, sir. Costa. What hospital? I see. No, no. Just do what you normally do. I'll take care of it. How you doing, Nick? You see that broad that Frank's sitting with? Yeah. Can you get her to the phone? Yeah, don't tell her who it is, man. Sure. Uh, excuse me, there's coffee. Oh, thank you. Hello. Hello. You know that gentleman you're sitting with? Yes. Yeah, did he discuss his sexual preferences with you? Who is this? Look, that's not important, baby. Did the son of a bitch discuss his sexual preferences with you? No, why? I don't know why he does this to me. I mean... Well, I guess it's because he gets some kind of perverse thrill out of toying with my emotions. It's probably because he's a cop. You know, he has to flirt with women to prove that he's a man. You know, woman to woman, I, I, I feel so... But cheap and so used. <laughs> Thank you. You faggot. What? You're a shithead, you know that? I mean, just because Teresa blows you off doesn't give you the right to fuck up my life, shithead. Have I told you recently what an asshole you are? Why don't you fill me in on the details on the way to the hospital? The hospital? Nick, this is goddamn idiotic. You know what Ferris said. Hey, Ferris is a jerk-off. Now, be that as it may, why can't we wait until Ferris has his boys question poked tomorrow? Ferris's boys are jerk-offs. Dr. Tanny, second station. I gotta call Barbara. It's only Mr. Pogue's medication. How are we doing, Mr. Paul? Hey, 
Hey, Dr. Kenny. Hi, Speed. How are they hanging? Cozy. Glad to hear it. What is that shit? <laughs> I guess everybody knows how rusty they're getting. <laughs> that is uncool, man. Hi, guys. Okay. Hey. Nick, Frank. Right. What are you guys doing here? We're here to see folks. Nobody sees them. We got orders. Captain Ferris sent us over personally. How come Lieutenant Kaminsky told us specifically not to let you guys in there? Especially if you said you had orders from Captain Ferris. Kaminsky is a bullshit artist, all right? Frank, kill him. Four Dodger tickets, all right? <laughs> and two super ripped dinners at Archer's, okay? You're not getting in there, Burzak. God damn it. Ah! Oh! That's him. Joseph Mendez, professional hitman, worked freelance. Didn't mind doing him and kids either. This guy was a badass. Really? Because him and he hasn't given me a bit of trouble. Yeah, well, uh, I guess we'd better be going. Really? I was in the middle of ordering lunch before you guys came up here. Uh... Hi, yeah, uh, make it a pastrami and a small sprite. You sure I can't interest you guys in anything? Uh, thanks, anyhow, man. Uh, Anybody else? Just the one pastrami, then. So what do we do now? What you do now, Frank, is you go fishing again. Yeah. You're both on vacation. What are you talking about? I just spent an hour in Ferris's office saving your asses again. He was all ready to suspend you both. I finally convinced him it was just uh, battle fatigue. He needed a little time off. So, okay, two weeks. Take it. You know what's really weird, man? You know, every time we make a move, somebody is one step ahead of us. Yeah. Ferris. That's calling it pretty close, pal. Fuck you go. Malcolm. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, huh? Oh, man. You guys ain't got no respect for the dead. All right, come on out of there, man. Come on. I'm Detective Hazeltine. Nice. Right, come on. Yes. Uh, what we got here? Nice little toy, huh? Yeah. Man? Actually, that's my mother. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, hey! There's no, no police station to me. That's because we're on vacation and we've got all the time Man, in the you world. dudes are crazy. Hold that thought, babe. So? You gonna rape me now or what? <laughs> I want to talk about Harry DaCosta, all right? Feel free, man. Personally, I never heard of Duke. Are oh, that right? Then where are you even scoring all your black tar? I forget. Damn, you junkies got bad memories. Oh, that's cool. No, we got people that remember for you, Malcolm. You see, the word on the street is that you are rapidly becoming somebody's top salesman. Oh, Malcolm. Shit. That black tar's good, isn't it? You popping that stuff about three times a day or what? So where's the next shipment coming in? Between your mama's legs. My mother? That's a good one, shithead. This sounds not like burning a good joke about my mother. <clears throat> Asshole. You a dead man, berserk! Oh, yeah? Everyone on the street's talking about it. On the homicide hit parade, you are number one with a bullet, Jack! The beauty of all this, Nick, we don't even have to lay a hand on him. Look at him, he's starting to shake already. You look a little pale, brother. Yeah. Hey, we got lots of time, right, Frank? We're on vacation. Pig! I want my lawyer! No problem, Malcolm. Just tell us about the Costa. Where'd you last meet him? In bed with your mama. Oh, that's right. And she said you're both lousy! <laughs> Yeah, nothing like better than a good mom joke. I've never gone this long oh before, God. ever. Stop it! Stop. You are the one who can make us all laugh. But doing that makes us break out in tears. Oh, God, stop it! All right, all right, all right, all right. Tomorrow, the stuff's coming in tomorrow. Where? Oh, just get me well first. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all I know. Listen, uh, this stuff comes into uh, uh, some trucking warehouse, man, on the south side. I swear, I don't know the name of the place, okay? Uh, I swear. Oh, 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 oh. Enjoy yourself, Malcolm. You dick. Oh, you a dead man. Just like Pogue. What about Pogue? Yeah, what about Pogue? <laughs> hey, what about Pogue? The Costa had him iced. Just like he's gonna have you iced. Well, how do you know it was the Costa? He talked to his man, and then he hired Mendez to shut Pogue up. What man? His man in the department, his oh, ears. That's bullshit. <laughs> You're lying. Oh, no, no, it's the truth, I swear. Who? I don't know his name. Look, all I know is it's somebody big. Just please. OK, Malcolm, it's all right, man. <laughs> You're off the hook. <laughs> I sincerely hope this little consultation has taught you a valuable lesson on the perils of narcotics abuse. Ah, uh, please. Hi there. What do you want? I want to talk. About what? Us. Nick, there's nothing to talk about. Hey, wait a minute. Please? What? I'm thinking about getting out. It seems I've heard this before. Have dinner with me. I want to talk about it again, seriously. You can't talk about anything seriously. Hey, I'm a jerk, all right? But a lovable jerk. Hey, you're killing my self-image here. You really are. Just dinner, all right? Please? 
I refuse to eat at Elmaya. That's not a problem. Real restaurant this time. Okay, tablecloths, waiters, champagne, bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. What the hell? Bring it back. Go out for it. And the crane. Beautiful. Hey, dress up. Hey, hey. Thank you. Man, it's serious. How do you like that shit, Speedball? Nicholas Verzek, sometimes you are not such a jerk. What? Sometimes. God. <laughs> I got a great idea. Let's go back to your place, get naked, and then screw ourselves in unconsciousness. <laughs> You're so romantic. Couldn't you be just a little less direct? Yeah, sure. We'll go back to your place. Get naked, <laughs> have some champagne and some strawberries, and then screw ourselves into unconsciousness. Oh, God, how could any woman resist an approach like that? Well, believe it or not, somehow, 
I'm just kidding. Actually, <laughs> you are the only woman I've ever cared about in my entire life. God damn it. It's the wrong credit card. Listen, baby. You want me to drive it out? Yeah. Just be a second. Jesus Christ, man, what happened? I heard about Teresa, is she okay? Yeah, she's gonna be okay. Well, what happened to you? Uh, two dudes in the semi tried to squash me. Nick, I just heard what... Jesus Christ, Frank, what happened to you? What the hell is going on here? Yeah, a couple of guys tried to kill him with a semi truck. Somebody, and I'm not saying this to Costa, okay? Somebody's after our asses. Are you guys getting close to something here? Yeah, death. Larry, we need to keep this really quiet, all right? There's a very big deal going down tomorrow. It's on the east side. We're in these, sir. We'll find it. ATC transport. See? ATC? Activity out there. How do we know where the deal is going down? Check out the limo. What limo? What limo? That one. You see any limo? You don't see that limo? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, 30 yeah, yeah. feet long. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus, right? Let's go check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Now you're gonna start blowing everybody away. We need a low profile. I'm going. You cut me to the bone, Frank. Right. Just keep your eye on the limo. What the hell's going on? I think the limo's in that fucking truck. What the hell are all the black and white units doing here? Must be our leak in the department. This is not comfortable, gentlemen. I'm in the same kind. Deal? 
wheels on wheels. It's pretty slick. Yeah. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's your hand, partner? 10 4, good buddy. Let's get on down to Shaky Town. You know how to drive one of these things? We'll find out. Oh, gross. <laughs> Back there to Costa. We're so glad you made it. We're so glad you made it. Ha ha. Come on, move on. Come on. That's good. That's good. Get those things out of here. Come on, sport. Out! You are completely surrounded. Place your weapons at your feet. Put your hands behind your head. Stand back. Drop the gun, asshole! Put your hands behind your head! Get down out of the truck! Let's go, move it! Over there! Lay it out! Move it, move it. Spread them. Well, what do you know? Ty Charlie. We got Ty Charlie. Top of your head. Drop the bag, Charlie. Hello, Arnie. Down here, Come on down. Come on, move it. Move it. Haul ass. You did it to me again, Frank. Come on, Nick. Give me a break. Hey, the son of a bitch isn't here, all right? I'm going to have some coffee. You want some coffee? Holy shit. You guys are always gonna make a big splash, don't you? It's a nice case, though. Congratulations, guys. There are black and white units rolling on the warehouse, Larry. What's that shit? I think I swear to God, Ferris told me specifically. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. We think Ferris is the leak in the department. What? Craziness is gonna be over. I just want it to be over. 
Soon, baby, really soon. Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary. Who is this? It's the wind. And nothing more, only this. Nothing more. Manny, check the main gate. slowly pull your hands away from the weapon. Good. Put your hands behind your head now. Interlace your fingers. Hey, doll, do me a favor, would you? Take his piece. Thumb and forefinger. Great. Put it right at my feet. Now reach around behind me and get my cuffs. Mm -hmm. Just the cuffs, baby. <laughs> Okay, doofus, hug the statue. Monty. Monty? Hug the statue, Monty. Yeah, yeah. Got him? Shutting up. Put your ankles together, Chief. That's good. Oh, nice big ones, huh? Thanks, sweetheart. I'm not on. I can see that. Wanna frisk me anyway? Uh, uh, maybe some other time. Where's your shooter, Daddy? He's in bed. Uh-huh. Follow me. Okay. Stay, Monty. Here we are, Harry. Just you and me. Nobody between us. You're insane. Yeah. That's the rumor. You won't shoot me. I don't like you. You can't shoot me. You're a cop. Have a nice day, asshole. Hey, what's 
the matter? You don't answer your phone anymore? Huh? I'm about to be suspended without pay, man. You're lucky DeCasa didn't file criminal charges. Are you telling me how lucky I am? Fuck you. Whoa. I just talked to Teresa. She'd like to see you. Uh, what do I say to her? Hey, baby, I'm sorry. I almost got you killed. If she was right to throw me out, I'm just bad news for everybody. So what are you going to do? Just walk away? Yeah, maybe. But what about the Costa? He's clean, Frank. Haven't you heard? Why don't you stop this? Oh, man, why don't you just go to hell? Hey, wait a minute, man. For four years, you've been bugging the shit out of me about the Costa. You hammered my love life. You took away my weekends. You've been a fucking pain in the ass, Nick, but I hung in there with you because you're my friend. We're partners. Hey, man, nobody gives a shit, all right? So why the fuck should I? Because it's more than just the Costa. We were set up by one of our own guys. You gonna walk away from that, too? They fucked us, Nick. And I think we ought to oblige them. Turn the favor. Miranda Sullivan, American Civil Liberties Union. I'd like to see the transfer authorization on a suspect, Kettlebaum, Ira. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we don't have anybody under that name. Can you tell me how it's spelled? Just like it sounds. Hey, man, I'll knock you on your ass. Hey, just get over there and shut up. We need the keys to the evidence room. You have to sign in first. Hey, Burzak, I heard you got suspended. That's a bunch of shit, man. The captain let me off. OK, officer, you're interrupting me, you know? But just a moment, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna need you guys' names, uh, the suspects. Ow! Son of a bitch, you hit me. Can we do one thing at a time, please? It's spelled K E T T L E B A U M. Hey, get off of my booty, man! Is this standard operating procedures around here? Ah, oh, stop it, man! Can we at least dump the evidence? I'll take care of the paperwork myself later, okay? Count Thanks. three, man. Catch. One, two, three. All right, now what? We'll count to ten. All right. Yeah, officer, would you get back here, please? Pay attention three. here. I was here for Please, do your duty. Just get the lot out, Sonny, and get me kettle bound. Well, can you do it? Thought you guys said I was off the hook, remember? We lied. Yeah, don't you know you can't trust a cop? Yo, man, you dragged me out of bed in the middle of the night, no jacket, no drawers on, kicking my ass. Cut the crap. Can you do it or not? Of course I can do it. I'd steal your mama. I'm the best. Then shut up and get started. Yeah, and scream every now and then. For what? So nobody gets suspicious, asshole. Yo, man, tell this white boy. Brothers ain't into that shit no more, man. Just too cool. I'm sorry. OK, Mr. Cole, I'll tell you what. You scream every now and then, or I'll make you scream. Fuck you, man. I said Nettlebaum with an N. You said Kettlebaum. Don't you blame your mistakes on me, Sonny. Together, man. Me and you. We decided to let him off with a warning. Marty! Hello? The cops don't have the cash no more. Who is this? Ty Charlie. I'm not giving the cash to no one else. No one else but you, Harry. You're fucking with me, you're dead. So, I read about you. That was yesterday's news. Our man downtown has more pull than we thought. I got it all back. 
When and where? Two o'clock at the old athletic club in Long Beach. Monty, call our friend downtown. Narcotics, please. Yeah, the old athletic club in Long Beach. You know it? It's Monty. You know it? He said if you want to pick up your end, be there at 2 a.m. Got it? going on here? We got your mother's cold. You what? Don't play dumb, asshole. I'm not playing dumb, Nick. Drop the gun. Drop the gun! How could you let this happen, Kaminsky? You shut up, Harry. Jesus Christ, Kaminsky? I'm sorry, Nick. What about us, Larry? You took it to die heroic deaths. Shooting it out with a big-time drug smuggler and Ferris, the dirty cop. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really like you guys. Hold it, Charlie. Hold it right there. about the costume anymore. I am so happy. <clears throat> Outside of breaking every rule in the book, damn near getting me killed. Booze on the job. You guys cracked a pretty big egg. Oh, thank you, sir. However, every time. Your tactics are lousy. If Kaminsky hadn't folded and spilled his guts, we still wouldn't have a thing on DeCosta. I'm sorry, sir. You guys are good cops. Well then. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks, Captain. Nice stuff. Uh, but I gotta give up this business. This what? Is... Well, I was just talking to myself, sir. That may stay, Captain. <laughs> I always liked him. Nick, you are so full of it, I swear. Hey, I did. Besides that, I figured he was clean the whole time. After you, Jesus. Jesus. You know, I'm gonna miss you, Speak. Hey, man, I keep trying to tell you. Private investigation, all right? You. you got your own hours, you're your own boss. It's very happening. <laughs> you're so full of it, I swear. Yeah, bullshit, bullshit again. Nope. All right, man. I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. Okay, man. Come on, Speed. Lake Airhead's gonna dry up. I'll see you later, Teresa. Have a nice time. See you, man. Both of you. Okay, baby. Bye. 
Hi, darling. Let's get out of here. Nicholas, it's your mother. Listen, I don't understand why you think I'm out of line if I want to go to Arrowhead with you and Teresa. Nicholas, it's me again. I'm sorry I got angry. But when a son can't talk to his own mother, I don't know what to do. Nicholas, I am not a well woman. Thank you.